understand that this technique is advanced. You know, I didn't learn the figure four until I used to throw the boot in, wrap it around the other other leg like this, and try to turn them over. Which look, which worked at my local tournaments, you know, and all that. But I never was very effective with it all the way through high school. And I didn't really learn it until uh, I got on Ohio State's campus and uh, Big Mark Coleman. You guys know Mark Coleman? Yes. He's a uh, NCAA champ, Olympian, and also um, a uh, Hall of Famer UFC. Well, Mark comes into the room one day and he goes, if you turn me, I'll give you $1,000 to everybody. You know, and at this time he's like a you know, UFC guy, so he's bigger and better than ever. And uh, our whole thing with Mark was, it, it wasn't like, I never scored on him my whole career. And, uh, and uh, he got smart enough when he got a little older, uh, he just stopped going uh, live as much with the bigger guys. Not that I would have scored anyway, but uh, our whole thing with Mark was, we didn't try to score on him, we just tried to make him grimace, you know? If we made him go, ah, and struggle a little, that was a goal for us. Because he would grab you and he would like give you chiropractic work every time he grabbed a hold of you. All right. Well, so he comes in and uh, and uh, he, Mark might not remember this, but this was my highlight of uh, my college career in the wrestling. So he goes, "All right, I'll go down." So he's freestyle, you know, parterring it. All right. So I reach into my little bag of tricks, pull out a figure four. Okay. So. I didn't realize it. I'm just a dumb freshman, okay? And I, I come around and, and hook here. Now you guys know that that's what? If I'm applying pressure, it's illegal. You understand that? Straighten your leg out. See how I can really kind of mess up his knee here? Okay, so so I'm wrapping that around. Now, I'm getting, I'm getting here. I'm getting here. And I'm starting to make him more than grimace. He's starting to make some noise. And then I just kind of fall a little and get one of those. That's 92. Freestyle, that's two, right? Unfortunately, that didn't happen, though. Okay, I never turned him. But my point, my point of this was, okay, that's when I realized, hey, this figure four, if I can get make Mark Coleman grimace on my figure four, then, I, then basically I can turn anyone in the country. Okay, so, but this is illegal. And, that, and next day he was rubbing his knee pretty good. He said, uh, man, that was a good one. Later I found out that was illegal. Okay. So, no wonder why I made a grimace, right? All right, so, again, right here, guys, this is fine and dandy at your local tournament. You may be able to get someone, but this is where you're going to score in high-level competition. All right, but let's say he hips you down, all right? right stay, stay, stay down and hit me down, okay? And I can't go figure four, so I'm cranking, but I'm not going to get it, especially if he's got strong hips and back. So I'm going to take this off and I'm going to turn my knee 45 degrees. Why? Why do I turn my knee 45 degrees? So he doesn't hit me down, right? If I stay tight here, hit me down. Better watch out, guys. Okay? Turn my knee 45, go ahead. It's hard to hit me down. You understand that? So I take my figure four off, turn my knee, uh, turn my knee 45 degrees. Now what I do, a power half. Everybody does a power half like this. Right? Do your power half. If you haven't been to my camp, do it the way you usually do it. Let's see it. Yeah, right there, right? Great stuff, except your wrists give out. Watch. See that? So I'm going to turn my knee or my wrist 90 degrees. And then I'm going to dig this forearm bone right in the back of his neck and, and find the nerve there. So I'm going to go here, turn it 90 degrees. Now watch, here's a little magic show. Watch his hips go in the air without me touching them. See that? One more time. Why is that? Why don't you answer down there? Uh, it hurts. It's very painful. Okay? I can do that all day here. Are your hips coming up? Yeah. Here. Oh, no. No. He's not going anywhere. Here. No. Fat and muscle, skin and muscle, bone and muscle, uh, bone and skin. No muscle there. Bone and skin. Boom. Here. I'm coming over the top, halfway over your wrist, halfway over your uh, fi uh, fist. Right here. Knuckles should be facing the ceiling. Everyone do that. Forearm bone, thumb facing the ceiling, hand, no, no fingers. Cupping. Not grabbing, cupping. So I'm really se securing this lock here. Go ahead and wing down. 
He doesn't want it. Now if I go here, wing down. He can't. Now he may be able to turn away, which we'll talk about later. I bring this leg up high. If I'm down here, then I have to turn him with my biceps. Do you understand that? If I come here, shoulder parallel to the knee, I'm going to turn him with my right butt cheek. How do I do that? I just keep my arm locked here, and I'm going to drive. See where I'm driving from? If I'm down here, how am I turning him? I have to turn him with my arms. I have no power. Here, just like we're in a walk. Double leg, high crotch, high crotch, double. Wow. You can see why I was so good on my feet, huh? You see that high crotch? It's pretty. A little rusty. All right. Drive, 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 punch. Why do I punch? Because my, my arm's slipping off. This knee caves in, pinches, and I lean in and score. One more time. One more time, then we go try it. Bigger four. And this is just like on the feet, you know, if your single leg's not there on that side, he takes the leg back, the duck or high crotch on the other end. High crotch goes away, he rotates out, single leg's there. Same thing here. One of them's got to be there, so just keep that in mind. Figure four, can't turn him, he actually locks me out. Let go, slide my knee out, step up, shoulder paralleled in the knee, put on the right form, the right grip, which is here, and then I just drive. I drive, I drive, and then I... Pinch this in and straighten my arm. Now, I'm going to punch my fist to the mat. Again, when I'm starting to slide off, I punch my fist to the mat. If I don't straighten my arm, go ahead and wing down. That happens. I straighten the arm. Now, wing down. I got all day. I'm going to lean and score. Now, he, he may do some things. We'll talk about it later. He may buck me up. Go ahead, buck me up. That's when I switch directions and take him this way. He may roll all the way through. Go ahead. I'm going to grab, stretch him out, come up. Flat, figure four, take them over. We'll talk about all that stuff later, but right now it's a conventional staying over the top, punch fist to the mat, lean in and score. Get your back points. Ready? Go. Woo!